Hi everyone, Nicole here with Orange and Olive. We hope everyone is doing well and staying healthy. First, before I get into this video, I just wanted to give a big shout out to all the essential workers out there that are keeping us going. Each and every one of you should be totally recognized every single day of the year, not just during a pandemic. But we wanted to say thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts and you're doing an amazing job and we couldn't be more thankful for you. We do have one of our family members that is an essential worker. It's our oldest daughter. She does work at a grocery store. Um, so we do understand what it's like to have a family member have to go out during this time and remain thoughtful, not just for her own health, but everybody else's health around her. We couldn't be more proud of her and what she's doing. We are taking precautions at home, of course, when she comes home. She comes to our garage. And the laundry room is the first room you enter from the garage. So she leaves her sneakers outside um, in the garage and then she takes off her work clothes and puts them directly into the washing machine every day when, every time she comes home from work. Um, it's not an out of the ordinary routine for her. Uh, she is going to school for nursing. She does have clinical one to two days a week during school. She doesn't have it now. Um, obviously, but when she does have clinical, she has to come through the garage, leave her sneakers out in the garage, take off her scrubs, throw them in the washing machine. Um, she does work in a medical environment. Part of her clinical is to take care of the elderly. Um, again, I said she's not working there now. Um, that part of school is also closed down. So she is well aware of uh, how to ensure she's not only thinking about her own health, but the health of others that are around her. So we couldn't be more proud of her. We love you, sweetie, and just take care of yourself and um, remain healthy. And uh, obviously, mom and dad are here to, to take care of you as well. So we just wanted to give a shout out to all those essential workers, uh, doctors, nurses, um, anybody, any, any business that has to stay open. Um, to really help us all out and help us all, um, you know, survive through this. So we love you guys. Thank you so much. With all that being said, Chris and I wanted to put out a video um, just to briefly let you know some of the ideas that we're having. Um, we're obviously, most of us are, are staying home and, and unable to even work from home or have the ability to work from home. So we thought to ourselves, what can we do for our followers um, to kind of fill in some of that time that everybody has um, during the day. So we thought maybe we can put out some more content, some more videos during the week rather than just one. So in the past day and a half or so, I've been going through every nook and cranny of my house to find any type of crafting type objects or anything, any type of products that we, we have already on hand in the house that we could, we could put out, even, even if it's a short video, um, even if it just gives you inspiration to kind of look around your house and see if you have like objects to do your own, to do your own type of crafts or projects. So we did that, we gathered, we gathered, we gathered a bunch of stuff and then we figured out uh, what, type of what type of projects we'd like to put out there for you. We're also gonna be using some recycled objects in some of our videos which include and may include a lot of wine bottles. Just saying, um, that was some things that we had on hand and I said, you know, maybe other people have some wine bottles on hand right now. So we came up with a bunch of ideas and also if you follow us on Facebook, I posted the other day that my daughter and I went through and organized our scrap wood bin that's underneath our workbench. So we also came up with ideas and things to build out of scrap wood. So small pieces of wood, I'm sure most people have some scrap wood laying around their house somewhere. Um, we have an abundance. I'm not sure if everybody else has an abundance. I don't know. Um, but this, and I'm super excited about it because I've had this scrap wood. And you know scrap wood just piles up and piles up and piles up. And I'm so excited because now I'm gonna find all these little projects that I can do um, and show you guys and hopefully you get inspiration. Then my husband and I were also thinking, um, because when we do these, these projects, and there's going to be many, so for an example, if we have 20 different projects, we're gonna only make one of those products 
for that project. We're not going to make multiple. So what we were thinking is once we're done making that one product that we would we could put it up on the on our website and you could purchase it if you want to. So there's just going to be one of each. So if you like them, you don't have the materials at your house, you can feel free to go over to our website where we will post them for sale. We do offer shipping, so we can ship to you. We can also hold on to it for you um, if you don't want to receive the item and until the health of our nation gets better. We don't mind doing that. We have room to hold on to it for you. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am because um, I love doing really quick projects um, and, and, and being able to show you guys you know, some of our ideas. So um, if you actually have um, products or projects that you're doing or crafts or anything like that, you know, share them with us. You don't have to have a video. You don't have to show us your steps. Just take a picture and show them. It'd be really, really fun. So we hope that do, by doing this that we're going to just get out, get out some entertainment for folks that you know, have to stay at home and might not be able to work from home or even folks that you know, are working from home. Um, and speaking of that, speaking of working from home, I thought I, it was probably a good time to share with our followers, um, our family, our friends, my experience from being at home for a long period of time and kind of the steps that I took to make sure that I still felt some sort of normalcy. Um, I didn't get sad and depressed. Um, <clears throat> so for about the past five years, the company that I worked for allowed me to work from home, which was really great. Um, I loved that ability to do that. But the thing that worried me the most about working from home was um, being alone for so long um, and getting depressed or sad, things like that. So I decided to take these steps and I wanted to share them with you in hopes that it at least helps you out. I don't know, um, I don't want to not share them with everyone. Um, even if it helps one person, then I did my good deed for the day. So my main thing was sticking with a routine. So I used to get up every morning. I used to take a shower. I used to brush my teeth. I would get, you know, my work clothes on and I would head out the door to an office. Well, heading out the door to the office is the only thing that changed in my routine. I still woke up in the morning at the same time. Same time every morning, I still stuck with my same routine. I would get up, brush my teeth, take a shower. I would do my hair, my makeup. And I wouldn't just put on pajamas <laughs> and go into my home office. I would actually put on clothes that were aside from my pajamas. Of course, I would wear something more comfortable, absolutely. Um, I mean, I wasn't going to put on pantyhose and wear heels or something inside the house. But, um, you know, I, even if you were, like in the wintertime, I, my, my favorite apparel includes leggings, you know, so I would put my leggings on, which are completely comfortable, and I would put on a nice top, like a nice, a nice sweater or something. So, and I still have my hair done, I have my makeup done, so I was feeling like I was still in that same routine. Um, you know, in, in, in the summertime, I love wearing sundresses. Like, I, I wear them constantly, I have an abundance. So, in the summertime, I would just put on a sundress and um, go to work in my home office. You know, and after, after I get ready in the morning, I come downstairs and I, I still help the kids, you know, um, with whatever they need um, and make them breakfast. I did the same type of routine that I did if I was going and driving into an office. And of course, there was, there was, there was, there was days that I would maybe not do my hair that day, but I was still getting up and I was still having that same routine of getting in the shower. Um, but maybe I just didn't do my hair that day, or maybe I didn't do my hair and my makeup that day, but I was still, you know, getting dressed, things like that. More days than not, I was making sure my hair was done, my makeup was done, and I was, I was at least getting dressed in clothes that I would wear out in public. And that made me, it really made me feel better. So I hope that some of this advice is really, really helps at least, at least someone out there. So if you have any other advice for the folks that are staying at home, and that are not used to staying at home for this long period of time, please, you know, comment below and we can kind of get, you know, that type of communication going and just supporting one another through this time. So, 
Moving on to the next item that Chris and I wanted to share with you guys, and I'm actually like, I actually have a little note card down here that I wrote down. <laughs> I wrote down some things for you. So um, we thought it might be a good idea to also give you guys a list of the Netflix shows that we like to binge watch, right? So um, I do, we just did Netflix. Hopefully a lot of people have Netflix. It's it's kind of, it's like really expensive. I think like 10 bucks a month or something like that. Um, so we wanted to share with you what our favorite shows are to binge watch. And we've we haven't just watched these shows once. We have watched them multiple times. So the first one is Ozark. That's our number one. My husband and I love watching that together. Um, they have two seasons out right now, and the third season is actually coming out this weekend. So get on it and watch Ozark now. Hopefully you can make it through uh, the first two seasons before people start talking about the third season. <laughs> And then you can get on to watching the third season. The next one is Grace and Frankie. Uh, they have four seasons out. I've actually watched this. Um, I've been watched this show twice, almost back to back. It is so funny. Uh, it, it's a great show. So we definitely recommend that one. Another one is The Haunting of Hell House. They have one season out right now. They do plan on getting another season out um, in 2020 this year. My daughter and I love watching like the, the scary haunty shows and stuff like that. Um, so this one's a really good one. Also, one my husband and I like to watch is Santa Clarita's Diet. It's with Drew Barrymore. It's it's funny, <laughs> funny and weird all at the same time. They have three seasons out. Um, we definitely re recommend we definitely recommend that one as well. And then another one that my daughter and I like to watch um, together is You. So it's Y-O-U. They have two seasons out right now. Um, it's a little more on the unstable mind of an individual. So it's a little, um, a little off, but it was still a good show to binge watch. Another thing that we thought was a good idea to share with you is our favorite YouTubers. Because, you know, you would hope that we would have and watch YouTube. Um, um, it, it, this is kind of part of one of my routines that I picked up a few years ago because um, when I first started working at home because I, my first thing when, when everybody left the house and I did everything I needed to do before work um, you know I would go into the office and then I would, I would watch the news I would put the news on and I would watch it and I thought myself like, like this is getting me really sad like I need to stop watching the news in the morning <laughs> Um, so I decided one day to just put on YouTube and you know we have the smart TV so I could put it on my television and I started watching YouTube and, and it made me feel better so it became my regular routine was to put on YouTube once I hit the office and it kind of became once it kind of became my, my, my 20 minutes of mom time in the morning so everybody would leave and it would be super quiet in the house and I would go in my office and that was the first thing I did was I put on YouTube and I drank my coffee and I watched my favorite YouTuber in the morning before I went and turned around and logged into my computer. And it was nice, it was nice, it's nice and relaxing. So with that said, my number one favorite YouTuber is Garden Answer. Uh, I wear their shirt. I love them. They um, have taught me so much in the years that I've watched them. I I would kill every single plant. I did not know how to take care of one plant um, in my house or out in my garden. I had no idea what I was doing. I started watching them and I now that's I, just one of my passions is that I just love being in the garden and I love taking care of my plants inside. It's amazing. So they teach you a lot of stuff. Um, we were actually supposed to go to the Boston Flower and Garden Show um, in the, about the middle of March to actually meet uh, garden answer. They were they um, they are working with proven winners now. When they first started YouTube, they didn't um, they didn't work with proven winners. They were just a little tiny YouTube channel, just like us. And um, proven winners actually approached them, and now they work with proven winners. So they go all around and all of these flower and garden shows, and you get to meet and greet them. So um, I you know I was like I I want to do that uh, because they really brought me out of this kind of like really funk of, you know, um, being sad when I would, you know, have to stay at home all the time and, you know, and watching the news and things like that. So I actually just started watching them and they have 
hundreds of videos on their channel. They've been out for like five or six years. They have 700,000 followers. So they have great content. I would highly suggest to go and watch them. You will definitely learn something. And what's cool with them is uh, they're, they actually live in Eastern Oregon and they are zone five. What's cool about that is that we live in Baldwinsville in central New York and we're also a zone five. So whatever she's doing in her garden relates to us here in the central New York area. So she'll introduce you to plants that you've probably never seen before. So it's really cool. So anyways, moving on. Um, next one is the White Cottage Company. I really love her. Her name's Mary. She's super cute. She's very sweet. She does uh, a lot of upcycle type of projects and things like that. Another uh, YouTuber that I've been following for years is Shanti, the number two, Chic. So Shanti to Chic. They, um, they build a lot of furniture and things like that. So we've actually used some of their plans to build furniture in our house. We've probably linked them in some of our videos before. So they're really good as well. Rogue Engineer, he's pretty cool. Um, he also builds furniture, um, is a woodworker, things like that, and he puts out free plans as well. We've used some of his builds, and we've mentioned before Debbie's Design Diaries. She, um, she puts out really um, cool videos. She's very fun to watch, very entertaining. Um, she does, she's the owner of DIY Paints, the uh, paint we used to uh, do an ombre effect on our desk a few weeks ago. Um, and of course, Miller's Crossing Design, who is locally here in uh, Baldwinsville. She has a shop on Route 370. She also has a YouTube, which is really cool. So, and she's, um, she's a retailer for the DIY paint for Debbie's Design Diaries. So go check her out because she also uses the paint and she also has different techniques and things like that. And she's, she's a local, so go check her out as well. Um, and Anna White, Anna White, she, um, she's also a builder. She builds furniture. She gives you free plans to her furniture or her builds. Um, she and her husband and her family, they live in Alaska. So they have to, you know, build a lot of, uh, a lot of their furniture and stuff. And also, most recently, um, I watch Alicia English. She is, she's up in Canada, and she does a lot of DIY flips and things like that, um, like trash to treasure type videos. So she's also another interesting one to watch. So those are some of our uh, favorite YouTubers that we watch. I'll list the links to all their YouTube channels in the description, so you can go and check them out as well. So I hope you guys think this is a good idea for us, uh, for Chris and I to kind of come out and, and do a little bit more videos. Uh, you know, let us know if, if you have any suggestions, any ideas um, that you could, you know, we might be able to do a video for. You just remember you have to come up with like household items that are in your house right now that maybe I have in my house as well. We know that some of you have already contacted us with your great ideas and suggestions for videos. Unfortunately, we can't do them right now. Um, we don't have all the materials for those videos, but we definitely have your suggestions on a list. They will come out in the future um, as soon as we can go outside and purchase those items. So to all of you that have subscribed to our channel, thank you so much. It really, really helps us. Without your subscriptions, we wouldn't be able to put out videos. Um, we don't get paid from YouTube right now. They have certain parameters that you have to meet. Um, as, a, as a YouTuber, before you can actually start rolling in a paycheck, and like I said, I'm not working my regular job. I'm, I'm doing these vid videos in hopes that um, we can, you know, eventually, within the next, you know, eight to nine months, get hit some of our goals to where we can start um, bringing in at least something so we can continue to have this be part of, of our job. This is something, the content that we put out and the things that Chris and I have talked about, it, it's really our passion. It's something that we love to do together. And it's not just, it's not just doing a project together. We're spending quality time with one another. We love to be around one another. You know, we find each other to be good company. So we just really want to, and we hope that our channel grows so we can just continue to do this for a really long time. 
So we are so thankful for all of our followers, our subscribers. We love you so much. You're part of our family. We, we do this for you guys. We're hoping that we're putting out good enough content to where um, you're gaining some knowledge that's, the, that's our ultimate goal or at least gaining some um, inspiration. So we really thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And if you haven't subscribed, we would really appreciate it if you went over to our YouTube channel and did so. We would truly, truly appreciate it. Well, guys, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope you look forward to some of these videos coming out. I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited to finally have ideas um, to get rid of some of the scrap wood that I have. So I'm really excited, and we will see you in an upcoming video. Bye, guys.